For today's devotional, we're picking up in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 24 through 27. But before we jump into that section of the scripture, I just wanted to kind of point out what's going on here. Um, in this book of Matthew, Matthew, who is a disciple of Jesus, is giving his account of the Sermon on the Mount. And the Sermon on the Mount was Jesus's most famous teaching. Um, it is most widely known and really gives a great description for us who follow Jesus um, of how we are to live our lives, how we should conduct ourselves, how we should treat one another. And um, it is just set out very clear and it is easy to understand. And when we pick up in the end, um, the parable of the wise and foolish builders in um, verses 24 through 27, Jesus is basically saying, everything that I just taught you, everything you just heard, if you choose to build your life on that, that is a solid foundation. It is a rock. But if you choose to hear these words and either not believe them and turn away, or maybe even believe them, but not put them into practice and not let it affect the way you live, um, you will be like a foolish person because basically your house won't stand. Um, once you walk into life, uh, and things start happening, circumstances start, start happening, you have nothing to really build um, your faith on or your focus on when you're going through hard times in life. And so if we pick up in the scripture, starting in um, verse 24, it says, therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had a foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down, the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell with a great crash. And being somebody who has the opportunity and privilege to be in kids' ministry and to teach kids the truth of Jesus and how much Jesus loves them, we often um, circle back around to this passage because it is very clear. It's very easily understood by kids and by um, just younger people in general. And one of our favorite object lessons or things to um, really drive this home with our kids is Legos um, because... Legos are fun and it's just really easy for them to understand it. And so this set of Legos, um, actually, if you can see it, the blue one says God, uh, the red one says Jesus, and the yellow one says us. And oftentimes um, we use this just to give the picture of um, what God did through Jesus to save us, to come to us, to meet us where we're at. And so God is on the top because he sent Jesus and he came to us and with the um, idea or the uh, object or I guess his focus was to come down to us and bring us up to God and to kind of bridge that gap. And I love that picture because it is very clear. Um, it's a good reminder just of, of what God did for us through the person of Jesus. But as I was kind of thinking through this devotional and just this truth in the Bible, I also got to thinking that yes, it is a top-down situation where um, it's God and Jesus and us, but also it's the other way around too. If we put God first and then Jesus and what Jesus did and um, how we have salvation through him, and then we put us on the top, I think this is what this passage was talking about, that if we build our lives on God and Jesus, we will be able to then go into our lives and make decisions and treat people the way that um, Jesus displayed or taught in the Sermon on the Mount. And so I just wanted to share that with you this morning because I thought it was just a powerful depiction of um, how God wants us to live and he wants us to build our foundation or build our life on him and his truths and whether that's um, how we treat others or what we believe about ourselves or what we believe to be true in the bible um, god promises that if we live our life that way that he will um, bless us and that we will be able to withstand storms and trials and all of the other weird things that life throws our way would you pray with me god thank you for this picture 
uh, in Scripture. God, thank you for um, how Matthew laid it out for us so very clear, how Jesus' words were so very clear. God, so that we can step into our lives with our um, identity rooted in you, with our actions rooted in you, and that we have a firm foundation to live our lives out of. And so I pray for each of us, God. I pray whether we're going through a trial right now, Lord, whether we just overcame one or whether we're about to go into one, Lord, that we remember this scripture. We remember to be wise in how we are um, focusing our life and how we are living our lives. So we thank you again. We thank you for Jesus and just how you sent him to love us and to save us and how we get to be united with you through him. So we love you and we trust you and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.